Which NBA superstar wants the 2022-2023 NBA championship? I have your top ranked 20 superstars, and we're going to rank them starting from number 20 to the number one superstar. Who want, whose importance of getting this championship in 2023 means the most. Wants that heart of a champion. Wants this championship more than all the other superstars. You see, the thing about the NBA is, with five players, one person can control and maestro the game. And take over the game. And say, give me the ball, get out the way. Or say to his teammates, hey, on this play, I'm going to give it to you. They won't even know what's coming. Let's go get this championship. Let's go get these rings. Let's become champions. And that's what the heart of a champion is. Who wants the championship for the 22-23 season? And we're going to rank these NBA superstars from the lowest to the top ranked superstar who wants the NBA championship. Let's go. Number 20, Ben Simmons. We're just glad you're back. Trust the process. Looks like the process is over. New team, new start. But this new team is vying for a championship. Ben Simmons has two superstars who are already champions and who are supposed to be going for the championship this year. What's going to happen with the pressure? They say pressure busts pipes. Pressure can also create diamonds. We're going to see how Ben Simmons, we will see how Ben Simmons handles the expectations for this team. Number 19, Russell Westbrook. He told you how he felt in Washington. He's more happier than anybody who's ever been a champion. He ain't worried about championships. No expectations. Talk it like you walk it. I mean, and Russell Westbrook is playing with two superstars who's already champions. How many stars has he played with? It's time to get that title. That third star is needed on the two superstars that he has with him. Is it going to be zero rings? Where's the heart of a champion? Let's go. And you can trade out Russell Westbrook and Ben Simmons as far as your number 19 and 20 pick because their expectations for championships are low. But they're both on unique teams with superstars who are already champions and want to be champions this year. These two players are important for both teams. Somebody has to step up. Number 18, Damian Lillard. He's staying in Portland, staying loyal to the soil. Will any veterans come help him? Will any superstars? He doesn't have a number two or number three superstar. All the competition in the NBA. I'm going to have to do it like after seven for Damian Lillard. It's going to take the earth, the rain, the sun, the moon, and the stars in the mountains. For them to win a championship this year. Number 17, Kyrie Irving. I don't know if Kyrie wants any more championships. I think he's happy with the one championship he got. He got it with someone who's considered to be the GOAT. He's happy to, to talk about that. I don't know. I don't know if Kyrie wants to get a title. If he wants to get a championship with his boy, with his friend KD. Lack of chemistry with the team last year. Dysfunction. Their team is considered for the championship. Will they play like the hard champions this year? I don't know with Kyrie. We're going to see. Number 16, Devin Booker. I don't know about Phoenix. Plantation owner bosses. Coaches not talking to their players. If the Phoenix Sun make the playoffs, Devin Booker's going to have to play like Michael Jordan to see that championship. There's really no other way. Devin Booker would like to be a champion. He wants to be a champion. Will he be a champion? 
the odds aren't really for the Phoenix Suns this year. Number 15, Chris Paul. Chris Paul would like to win a championship. Does he have the will for the championship? They say it's gone. If Chris Paul doesn't win a championship this year, Chris Paul will not win a championship in the NBA. If they make the playoffs, Chris Paul's going to have to play what he's called a floor general and step up, and there's going to need to be a third rising star on their team to help them reach that mountaintop. There's no other way. Number 14, John Morant. John Morant got some warriors, got some... Got some soldiers, man. Got some players on his squad. What they go twenty and five without him last year? They wait on John Morant to jump on in with him and say, "I don't want to play Jesus. Let's go get this title." And it's all about John having a change of heart this year. He got the team to do it. And I just don't think John Morant is all about titles right now. I think he's just really kind of still about having fun. And he knows he still has plenty of time to prove he can win a championship. Might be a dilemma to his teammates. We're going to see what the future holds. Number 13, Paul George. Woo, a lot of pressure for the Clippers to take the title this year. A lot of pressure. Paul George couldn't do it on his own last year into the playoffs. He needed the other superstar. Paul George will not go for this championship alone. He will only do it with the help of his teammates. If anything happens and his teammate isn't with him, it will not happen. Number 12, Jimmy Butler. Ooh, man, Jimmy Butler wants a championship. If the cards could fall just like during the year of the bubble championship when they made it to the finals. If the playoff positioning, if the cards can fall the right way for his team, Jimmy Butler's going for that championship. Watch out for the playoffs. If everything plays right, Jimmy Butler's going for it. Number 11, Nikola Jokic. Back-to-back -back MVPs. He has his two rising stars back from injury this year. Nikola Jokic knows how to play the game. But does he know how to control the game and make the game come to him to win these games? to help get that championship. It's going to take Nikola Jokic's teammates to help him get over the hump and win that title. Number 10, Jason Tatum. Made it to the NBA Finals last year. Almost became an NBA champion. Setbacks and dilemmas this year. And although Jason Tatum wants to be a champion, his will to win will be foggy this year by his teammates due to outside distractions. Too much fog, can't see through it. Not this year. Number nine, Anthony Davis. Won a championship with his superstar teammate LeBron James, considered the GOAT. But does Anthony Davis want any more championships? Flashes of greatness. Hardly plays. Truth be told, I ain't shot the ball since April. Things that a champion does not say. And then when you got people on your team, championships don't mean nothing to me. The bar is dropped even lower. Anthony Davis, if he does not win a championship, another championship with LeBron James, Anthony Davis might not ever win another championship it's now the time is now do you want it number eight Kawhi Leonard two-time NBA champion LA Clippers picked to win the Western Conference Finals this year Kawhi Leonard has the team he has everything he needs can Kawhi Leonard stay healthy we barely ever see him if he stays healthy, he wants to go all the way. And Paul George wants to go along with him. If he doesn't stay healthy, he will have 
the greatest playbook to ever use. He can say health, and he can also say lack of chemistry because he was never around. The opportunity's here. But other than that, Kawhi Leonard will go for that championship. Number seven, Kevin Durant, two-time NBA champion. Kevin Durant has to win a title without Steph Curry. Did Kyrie lead him astray to Brooklyn? If Kevin Durant doesn't make it at least to the mountaintop with Kyrie Irving this year, he needs to go find him a new NBA superstar to get that championship. Kevin Durant is a missing piece to a championship. Number six, James Harden. James Harden went to Brooklyn to win a championship, but Kevin Durant's team, they were just running amok. James Harden leaves, goes to Philadelphia. He takes a pay cut. He is showing everybody he wants a championship. Can the right pieces be aligned right now for James Harden to go for that title? Number five, Luka Doncic, the next great superstar. Luka has great expectations of becoming a champion. But Luka is the only superstar in Dallas. Most teams have two, if not three, superstars. I don't know if I see Luka becoming a champion with all the odds of superstars against him this year. Number four, Joel Embiid. He's done with the process. We saw Joel Embiid crying when he lost game seven to Toronto. He wants multiple championships, but he sees how hard it is to get one. Can his new superstar, James Harden, unite and they both go on this quest together? Is this the year? They're both hungry for one. Number three, LeBron James. LeBron has to have this championship. LeBron cannot have multiple superstars winning the championship during his NBA reign. LeBron might be okay with Giannis winning the championship. A sign of a new young NBA transition. But he definitely doesn't want Steph Curry to win one on his watch. At least not before him. And LeBron wants this championship to really cement the conversation of GOAT. The conversation of the heart of a champion. At the highest degree, the highest level, LeBron has to get this championship. Number two, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Giannis wants multiple championships. Giannis wants to win every year. Giannis wants to be in GOAT status. Giannis is not trying to pass around these championships every year to different superstars. He might not have no problems with the old guard right now winning it, like LeBron or Steph Curry. But that's it. Because he knows he's that transition phase. And he is here. He wants that championship. And the number one NBA superstar with the greatest ambitions of becoming champion this year, Steph Curry. Four championships in eight years. On his watch and on LeBron James' watch. Both are four championships apiece. If Steph Curry wins a championship this year, all conversations will change. Man, I'm going to love this 2022-2023 season. Can't wait for the playoffs. Heart of a champion, baby. Let's go.